looks like we have got that rain after all. There's another one of these lovely old pubs here. Should make a video just on old pubs of Australia, small town Australia, because they are all over the country and they tend to have a very similar style of that period. Typically, two stories, open verandas. Pretty amazing. Let's turn my GPS down. Okay, it's done it. Um, yeah, uh, I just came through a bit of a dog leg on um, forty one here, and. Uh, I'll get a video on the way back home. Uh, this old property had a whole lot of old cars lined up. And uh, you won't believe it, but there was a Holden Ute. Uh, it was a 1960, I'd say 1961, 1961, 62. So it might have been better 1960. Uh, so after the FJ Holden, was the rounded looking Holden. Uh, it was the first shape that looked a little bit more like a Chevy, uh, like the Chevy Belair type shape. Okay, so um, and uh, in Australia here they came out as Utes, they were built as Utes. In fact Australia really was the uh, place where the uh, pickup, if you like, uh, really did uh, eventuate. Um, I guess well, I shouldn't say that exactly because I mean there's lots of history to show that um, the old Model T Fords uh, had pick up um, uh, trays as well. So anyway, but in Australia that, that pretty much um, is an old one. I do have some uh, photographs of when I was up in um, Alice Springs at a museum up there and there were some FJ Holden pickups there. Uh, the FJ Holden pickup does look pretty cool very rounded and a high-sided tray, uh, quite nice. But yeah, I, I did notice this one in the field on the way through, I'll get a video on it. Um, as far as the Falcon Utes went, uh, yeah, that's right, you, you could get a um, about a 1960 Falcon, I think they called that the um, ranch, what do they call that Ute? Um, I've seen some of them uh, on the Aussie uh, channels where they go into some of the old wrecking yards. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the the Falcon um, Ute was coming out here, or Falcon pickup. In Australia, they normally call them a Ute. And then, of course, you got the flat tray ones, the flatbed ones, where they basically like they call like a one tonner, where they uh, just go down to the chassis and, and build a um, a, a flat um, a tray on them for you know carrying hay bales and livestock and that sort of thing. Anyway, this is a fairly old pub. Uh, the Beth, how do you say that? Beth Ungra. Beth Ungra? Beth Ungra? Uh, don't know if it's open right now, but it looks like it could have been a bed and breakfast. And uh, not done so much in brick, but done more in stone, uh, which is interesting. Fireplaces everywhere. Yeah, really, really historic, very interesting. Anyway, we'll continue uh, on our way. This little Hyundai has gone past. You'll see a lot of older vehicles in Australia too, typically in pretty good condition. 
Um, I think mainly the corrosion doesn't seem to get them. The vehicles tend to have a, a reasonably good uh, value, which I think keeps them on the road a while as well. Uh, so it's not like New Zealand where we've got a lot of the later model vehicles. Uh, here you'll see quite a few vehicles uh, from the six, well certainly from the 70s and 80s and 90s on the road. I've seen a number of them and they seem to be running quite nicely and look uh, rust free. Uh, so yeah, which is nice to see those those uh, those Holdens and Falcons anyway. First passing lane I've seen for a while, but I'm just taking it very easy. Uh, I'm in no hurry, and uh, certainly um, not got any reason to uh, be breaking any speed limits. So a little view of that pub, and uh, I'm sure we'll see a few more along the way.